Welcome everyone to another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. It is week 21, 2020. I'm glad that you're along with us. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for participating. I have two announcements this time and then we'll get right into your questions. So with that, announcement number one, I'd like to personally thank DJ Evans for coming out and doing a two and a half minute video as I covered the branding out at Enzyme Ranches. Go ahead, swipe over, tune in to that, you won't be disappointed. Announcement number two, if you haven't listened to the latest episode of the Small Business Roundup podcast, go ahead, swipe over, listen to that. We interview Sophia Hookstra on her unfortunate experience with that fraudster 70 saddle shop. Uh, let's get right into your questions, you guys. Great question here. So I use the Cotton Carrier G3 system. It's absolutely fabulous, and it's the only harness system that I would ever use on horseback with my cameras. Swipe over, take a look at that. If you watch that video that DJ did on me, um, I'm wearing this Cotton Carrier G3 right here. There's a camera mount in the middle on this chest plate, and then there's also a removable camera mount on the side. So that's perfect for me because I carry two cameras all the time. My 70 to 200 goes here, my 16 to 35 goes right here. On the inside, there's this little nylon pouch that you can see and I usually put my phone in there. I will tell you, it does get, uh, it does get a little warm putting this on, but you know, if you're going horseback, there's absolutely nothing better and secure to hold your equipment without it getting smashed to hell. So check this out. Great question, Sarah, and to be honest, I wouldn't expect any less from you. So with that said, Inspiration and creativity kind of go hand in hand for me, and I'll give you my thoughts on it and some anecdotal tips. In these times, especially through April and about middle of May, it's really hard to get down on yourself, especially with this virus out there, because almost every, well, every one of my event jobs canceled on me. And so with every event job canceling in April and May, what I had to do was come up with my own content ideas find people that would share that idea with me and go create content to stay inspired. So in general, one of the ways that I stay inspired is by reading books and going to the library. Uh, whether those books are on um, art, painting, uh, philosophy, whatever that is, I'll find a passage that inspires me. Another area that I find inspiration is while I'm editing and I have YouTube or Spotify or something going in the background and if it's YouTube, there have been times that I've seen lighting that I want to replicate. Another way to get inspired is actually by going way back in your archives. For me, I can go back over 10 years and pick out an image and do a new edit to it. Um, that's another way to stay inspired. I think for many of us, it's really easy to get caught up in the negativity and get down on ourselves for not getting out there and creating over and over. But the key to not getting down on yourself is getting out there. Yeah, good question. So number one, you can use what's called a gray card, set it in the lighting conditions that you're gonna be shooting in, take a picture, and then set that custom white balance. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, setting that custom white balance with your gray card. The exposure settings I'm gonna use as wall. My exposure settings are 1 30th of a second at ISO 800, F4. So let's take that picture and see what it looks like. All right, you can see it's pretty warm right there. Now let's change over to that custom white balance. So up top here, I'm just gonna move my white balance over to the custom right there. Then I'm gonna fill the frame with the gray card. So it looks like that. Now we're gonna go into menu and set that custom white balance right there. And I'm gonna retake the picture. So as you can see in this picture, it's a lot less warm, so it's a little cooler than that picture. That's one way of doing it. Now, after that one minute tutorial of using the gray card, I have to tell you the truth. I haven't used a gray card in many, many years because it's too much of a hassle for me to take it out, take the picture. Lighting conditions are very different, especially in arenas. My preferred method for setting a custom white balance is actually 
going into the white balance selector and selecting K for Kelvin and then dialing in the temperature and tint that I want for my images. I'll do that in arenas as well. Now outside of arenas and barns and stuff like that, um, I have my white balance set to a cloudy white balance because I like a warmer image and that applies to high school seniors, families, and ranch life activity. 100% of my images go into Lightroom and from those maybe another 30% go on into Photoshop and in Photoshop I use uh, plugins like Alien Skin and Nick Effects. For the activities that I shoot, whether that's high school seniors, families, ranch life activity, I like to shoot earlier in the morning, think 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and even 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So with that, the reason that I enjoy that is because the sun is at a lower angle and provides a beautiful directional um, light on your subject and also the quality of light is so much better at those times. Now that being said, those are my optimal times for shooting, but to be honest with you, regardless of the time of day, I have to be able to create great images no matter the situation that I'm in. Generally speaking, I'll expose for the highlights, and in this case, since this is a backlit image, I'm exposing for that light. Now I do know that the sun is blown out in there, but I don't care about that because my main subject is a branding smoke. For me, it's not the expense part, and what I mean by that is it's knowing that I have a full-frame camera that its sensor is able to get a broader dynamic range of colors and also handle high ISO much better. Now, as far as the expensive part of the camera goes, what I would say is this. Um, you can go out to discount places like KEH and get L-series lenses and a full-frame camera for a fraction of the price that you would buy brand new. What a great question. No one has ever asked me this before. So captioning my images, the source of inspiration just comes from um, conversations with friends or uh, business related experience or even. So along with the business experience and also, you know, just daily life experience, you also experience different things on your photo shoots. And I draw from those and really talk about what's affecting me in that point in time. Yeah, good question here. So over almost the last decade or so, every branding, every ranch life activity that I've been out to, I've been invited to. It's not something that I've ever invited myself to. So thank you for asking.